Well, welcome back. We're about to go fire up uh, the 360 Sprint car for Southern Oregon Speedway this weekend. Uh, I've been on the car for about two weeks now and I'm super excited to get back into it. But we're about to go fire it up, make sure there's no leaks and hear how it sounds. Good? In gear? Yeah. Huh? That's cool, you can hear all the fluids dying down. Well, she runs, that's for sure. It's a she? Yeah, big biscotto. It's well, I don't know if that's... You want to give them, give them the backstory on on that? I've never really talked... I've never told anyone about that. Well, a little backstory. About a few weeks ago when I was running, uh, my 360 engine kind of went out. So we threw in the one that Tanner's been running here a little bit. And a little backstory on that is um, it's a Charlie Fisher racing engine. It's a 360. It's a, a really good motor, so they call it the Big Pescado. So it's just a really fast motor. Tanner's uh, qualified qu multiple quick times with it and uh, won multiple 360 races. So we're going to see if I can do that this weekend and uh, see how we can do. We'll see if Carly can handle it. She is correct. We nicknamed this Big Pescado. I didn't give it the nickname. My dad didn't. No one in the family. Actually, Justin Sanders, a friend of mine, um, really good sprint car driver. You guys know Justin. He uh, He's a wheel man, and he said this thing is Big Pescado, which obviously stands, you know, big, and then Pescado is fish in Spanish for Charlie Fisher. So I thought that was really funny. It's kind of been the joke the last 365 days since we got this thing. And Carly, well... This will be uh this will sure be a hot rod for the 22C. And the 22C is all loaded up. Look at all the pollen guys on my field tank. This is just from sitting in the garage and we had the door open last night while we were working. There is so much pollen in the air. My allergies are insane right now. It's crazy how all our race cars, we literally have to like, we have to blow them all off before we even load them just because of all this green like pollen dust that is on them. So when I get to the racetrack, I will be wiping the 22C down and making sure it looks really good for all the race fans. It's super nice racing only 25 minutes from home. I'm looking forward to it. We always go to in and out after, so hopefully the races get over. We can keep that tradition going on. As you guys can see, I do not have the meal or quad in this trace trailer. Um, that's all in Tanner's rig. His trailer can hold a little bit more weight. Therefore, since there is no meal or quad, I actually get to pull this to the racetrack. I can't wait to pull uh, this trailer with my car in it to the racetrack. Like I said, I just think it's really cool, you know, pulling your own rig to the racetrack, getting out, you know, unloading your own car kind of deal. Um, it's something that I look forward to. But like I said, the 22C is all tied down and ready to go. It should be a good car count this week. I think we already have 15 confirmed. So for Metford, that's really good. And hopefully we get a few more. It's also a pretty big race, you know, two grand to win, 300 to start. So hopefully we're right there in the top three at least, and maybe even come out on top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.